Happy New Year. Happy 2021. In my last video, I said goodbye to 2020, but I thought it was only fitting that I do share with you my favorite photographs from 2020. So without further ado, let's get into it. So 2020 starts off at an amazing location just outside of Banff National Park known as Abraham Lake. For those that aren't familiar with Abraham Lake, it is an iconic location well known for its methane bubbles. Now Abraham Lake is actually a quite expansive lake starting off at Preacher's Point going all the way past Windy Point. But my favorite photo from 2020 is on my sunset outing at a location near what's called the belly of Abraham Lake. This is because compared to Preacher's Point and Windy's Point where I had previously been, there were methane bubbles galore here at this part known as the belly. And this shot at sunset, just the purple light coming in, the field of methane bubbles that I found, the mountain in the background, I think really provides a beautiful image and one that I truly love from my time at Abraham Lake. Now I do have other great photos and great memories from Abraham Lake, so I do suggest you check them out. But if you are in the National Park area in winter, Abraham Lake is definitely a go-to spot and actually a location you probably want to go back to multiple times. My second photograph is actually a photograph I took just down the road from Abraham Lake on the same day as the previous photo, just around the lunchtime hour. Now what I love about the photograph I'm about to show you is that I stretched myself outside of my comfort zone. Typically I photograph the grand vistas like you saw with the previous photo, but here I decided to try to do some abstract photography and I absolutely loved what I was able to capture with my 100 to 400 lens standing at the side of a road just inside of Abraham Lake. As the restrictions began to lift, I decided to head out to a relatively newish trail, approximately two hours away from where I live, to both get out for exercise, to help with my mental health, and as well to try my hand at a form of photography that I was looking forward to doing in the fall of 2020, and that is woodland photography. So I loaded up my camera bag with all my gear as well as some food and headed off on approximately a four to five hour loop trail hike in the spring of 2020. Unlike some of the trails close to where I live, this one definitely had a lot of inclines and declines which made for some great exercise, but also definitely made it a little harder with all of my camera gear. From a photography perspective, this was mainly designed to be a scouting mission for a trip later in the fall, obviously for some autumn colors, but instead this became a little bit of a white whale. The tree ended up photographing, or actually one of many subjects, but one tree in particular, 
ended up becoming an obsession of mine that I never actually reached again in 2020 because I swear this tree happens to be in it. I'm looking forward to returning in 2021 to find this tree because I actually believe on my last attempt I was actually not far from it, but it is definitely something I want to return to, plus the area in general is so beautiful and I can't wait to get back. As I continued my preparations for my fall trip to Scotland, I headed off into a local woodland known as Pinney's Forest. Now what actually drew me out to this location was not the woodland itself. It was actually a sand dune. Yes, in Ottawa, Canada, there is a legit sand dune. Now it's not as majestic as the sand dunes in Death Valley National Park, but yes, we have a sand dunes. Now unfortunately the sand dunes didn't actually provide me any inspiration on this particular outing, but I am happy I took the time to explore and just on the edge of the sand dunes I came across some nice trees with some really cool interesting bark. As I mentioned earlier, I really do love the great epic vistas, but on this particular outing and why I love this particular image I'm about to show you is because I was able to find something unique inside a forest and I highly encourage you to try something similar. I have to admit, one of the most favorite things I enjoy photographing is a good waterfall. Now I am actually quite blessed to live in a province of Ontario that has a lot of waterfalls, although sadly most of them are in the southern part of the province, but there is a very nice set of local waterfalls including one called Dunlap Falls. Now I've actually visited Dunlop Falls a few times this year and they have a series of lower waterfalls. It actually has a hidden waterfall that's not even named that I've yet to photograph. But it was the upper falls this year that really brought home one of my favorite photographs for 2020. In the fall of 2020, I was supposed to spend three weeks exploring Scotland. So I was obviously disappointed when I had to cancel those plans due to the pandemic and the various lockdown and travel restrictions. I decided to take advantage of this change of plans and explore Gatineau Park. I returned to an area that I've been to before known as Meech Creek Valley. On my first visit, I didn't get the light I had hoped for, and so basically it was a bit of a bust and turned into a bit of a scouting mission. Now, as they say, good things come to those who wait. Upon my second visit, I was actually gifted beautiful fog that was filling the valley, 
and as well as a great sunrise. Thanks to my earlier scouting, I knew what I wanted to photograph, and I absolutely got an image that I love, love, love. And that is of this beautiful wooden bridge, as you can see here in regular light, compared to the moody image, thanks to all this great fog. Because of the travel restrictions, I was definitely forced to shoot more local. Now that actually turned out to be something positive because there's locations not too far from where I live that I've taken for granted. And one of those is Watson's Mill. It's a very short drive away. But what I decided to do was make this into an excellent opportunity and start shooting what I'm calling a four season series and Watson's Mill is the first, although as the time of this recording, I still have to record and photograph a winter session, but I'll link to that playlist here. So I went there in the spring, I went there in the summer, and I've been there in the fall. In fact, I went to back in the fall a few times, and finally, finally, I got the weather, the light, and the clouds that I was looking for. And I'm absolutely in love with the shots I got there that day. Now, in fact, I'm so much in love, I've actually have two images that I will be showing you. They're from the same area, but different framing of Watson's Mill. And I definitely would love to hear which of these two you like uh, the most. I do have one bonus image I do want to share with you. While I was in Abraham Lake photographing sunset, I was flying my drone around and at one point I landed my drone and I just happened to look through uh, my phone looking at the screen because I had, although I had landed, I had not turned it off and I'm like, wow. And that's where this image comes in. It's a very simple image. It got down nice and low. And I actually did take a photograph with my camera. Now I was challenged by the fact that my tripod has a center column, which means I can't really get close to the ground, which I do plan on fixing in 2021. But this little bonus image, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. I would like to thank each and every one of you for watching and supporting me throughout 2020. I hope to see you throughout 2021. As I mentioned in my last video, I still have a lot of great content that I did film in 2020, as well as a little bit in 2019 that I have not yet shared. But I'm very much looking forward to what 2021 brings. Until next time, bye for now.